what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Bass Chico, Smooth as Ice, Twice on Ice, and I'm back with another video. So right now I'm about to react to this video I just saw in my recommended. The title reads, Quando Rondo Has Ruined His Life. Now, like I said, I just saw this video in my recommended. So if y'all need to react to more videos like this, drop a like on my video, you feel me? Subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on post notifications so you know you... Wait. How to... Wait, oh. Turn on notifications to all, all right? So you know when I post videos, <laughs> I'm telling y'all how to do it. I don't even know how to do it myself, you feel me? But do that, man. Hit that sub button. So y'all rocking with this type of content, I'll keep doing it. Send it to me on my social medias. And let's see what's up with this video. So the reason I'm reacting to this, by the way, even though I saw it in my recommended, I know Ronda Rondo just got arrested recently. And I'm pretty sure this has something to do with that. So let's get it. Now, it looks like Quando Rondo literally just ruined his life. I don't know if you've heard the news, but it's very serious. Now, Quando, out of body experience, Rondo. I'm going to talk about this Quando Rondo story. If you don't know, the other day, Quando Rondo ended up getting arrested and indicted on drug and gang charges in his hometown of Savannah, Georgia. Mm. Initially, when I saw the news, I'll be honest, I thought it was just what? one of those regular arrests. Rapper gets caught with a gun type of... Yeah. I didn't know it's on some gang charges either. I just knew he got arrested. I didn't know what for, but this is serious. Oh, damn, bro. Rest gets booked into county jail and released within 72 hours. But come to find out, this is actually very close to the same situation that happened with YSL. Now, that was a RICO indictment, and this is not what that is. However, Quando is up against a slew of charges. On top of that, it looks like the feds conducted some kind of long-term investigation before they picked him up. And that usually means that they have a whole host of evidence sitting just waiting to use They've it been against watching this defendant nigga, bro. in this so case. To be honest, I'm going to say this. Before, even before the like Quando Rondo, even before like you know, we just gonna keep it a buck fifty. The King Von situation, right? He been doing street shit. He be rapping about it in his music, so we know that they the feds could have been watching him then. You feel me? But after that King Von shit happened, bro, if this nigga did not change how he was moving, he's the biggest idiot I ever fucking seen. And I'm sorry just to say that because, bro, after that happened, nigga, they're watching you. They're waiting for you to fuck up, buddy. Yeah, we got you, buddy. Like, it's crazy. Quando. Like I said, we're talking drug and gang charges. And uh, usually in these types of stories, the pattern is the more people who get arrested, the worse the situation is. And in this case, Quando Rondo was not the only person who got arrested. He got arrested along with 18 other people. Oh, and the indictment damn. in question is 49 counts long. So... We got a pretty serious situation Somebody right here, snitch, man. So Quando's too. facing... Who knows? Is Quando going to snitch? Is he going to take the plea deal or whatever? I don't know, but... Bro, they arrested 18 people. Somebody finna snitch. All that... Oh, ain't no snitching, yada, yada. is dead, bro. Somebody finna talk four different felony charges according to the indictment in question he's accused of violating the street gang terrorism bro, that's crazy yeah shit and prevention Wait, act what? essentially they're saying that Quando Rondo was a leader of the rolling 60s criminal street gang you a millionaire bro damn so he was at the <laughs> fourth of this thing couldn't work they're saying that Quando yo <laughs> is this nigga doing ad libs in the video bro what the fuck <laughs> Yo, this nigga got ad libs, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Why am I just not catching on to that? Has he been doing that through the whole video and I ain't been paying attention, bro? We admitted it. <laughs> Prevention Act. Essentially, they're saying that Quando Rondo was Listen. the leader of the rolling 60s criminal street gang. You a millionaire, bro. Damn. <laughs> so you, you a millionaire, bro. Bro, ain't no fucking way. This nigga, yo. Whoever made this video, Blackie Speaks, Blackie Speaks, hold on, Blackie Speaks, you don't sound black, bro, so what's going on? <laughs> Who's at the I'm forefront of this thing putting in work? They're saying that Quando was, you know, apparently managing an entire gang, and you know what usually comes with that, right? The possibility of a long-ass prison sentence given they have the evidence of course in this case they probably do just based on the fact that they arrested so many people at once i mean these kinds of arrests that can be random it seems very calculated oh, yeah, and for what sure. happened precisely here is he was arrested after a police raid went down in his home the police along with a joint task force were collecting evidence at his home and the homes of the other people who got arrested alongside him they're saying that this is an ongoing investigation and uh 
that sounds about right after something like this i have a feeling that they're just getting started which that's usually how it goes in these types of cases where a bunch of people get apprehended all at once not only are they sitting on a bunch of evidence even before the arrest happens but they're also accumulating a bunch of new evidence in the process one of the Facts. biggest things they can most likely always count on is uh what happens after you know these arrests happen people instantly start talking because y'all know how it is right everything oh, is all good when you're out in the streets then you think but you know when you're sitting in that cold interrogation room and they tell them young man you're facing two counts of this two counts of that and three i ain't gonna lie i ain't never been locked up buddy so i don't know you see this nigga talking about yeah i know how i be with it but i don't know bro and i don't want to find out so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be a low abiding citizen, my brother, and I'm gonna pay my taxes every year. Counts of that, we keep close to 25 <laughs> oh, years no. in a box. Some magical things happen in that moment, and I'm sure you know what that is. Suddenly, everybody can sing like the weekend, right? And that's a normal human response. I'm not clowning anybody. I would have done the same thing, right? <laughs> and don't let the uh, you know, digital game. <laughs> you say, I'm telling. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. It's hard to take this video serious when there's a nigga in the background doing ad libs, bro. Well, this shit's supposed to be serious. Like, bro, what? And then this thing can talk about now, suddenly everybody can sing like The Weeknd. <laughs> Yo, this nigga fooling, bro. This nigga, the title is Quando Rondo Ruined His Life, bro. And this nigga is <laughs> in this video talking like this is something to play with, bro. Hell fucking no. Gangsters tell you different. Shit gets real quick when you're mentally cutting down the years of your life in that interrogation room. It goes from, I ain't telling, I love my gang, to, I love my freedom. What do you want to know? Officer on October 27 at 7 p.m. behind the 7 Eleven, he shot the man over a Slurpee. And this is why I always say it's really cool to be a law abiding citizen, because this is something you don't ever. There ain't no way, bro. Niggas is shooting niggas over Slurpees at 7 Eleven at 7 p.m. That's crazy have to worry about obviously if you're listening to me i'm sure you're not out here doing nothing i mean if you're out here selling a little bit of gas i ain't gonna hold you you can probably stay out the way even then your phone might be tapped ask me how i know one of my plugs i'm pretty sure that ain't got caught I reacted to a video be right down I haven't heard from him since August 2022, so he might be in a bunk bed somewhere, not sure. I need a new plug. I want you to check out this clip of Quando in court. His lawyer is arguing for why he's not a danger to the community and why he's not a flight risk. The prosecution, however, counters that by saying, on top of being an artist, this guy's also a gang member and should not be released to the public. My client is like a local hero. Born mm. and raised here. Folks say he the voice. He the voice of Savannah, but Georgia. But him to stay behind bars saying he faces a violation of the Street Gang Act for a reason. The Rolling 60s are currently one of the largest and most violent street gangs in Savannah. And that man is the leader of them. Defense it's attorney Quando? Jonah okay. Klein says his client... Okay, well, allegedly. For the people that allegedly... <laughs> know about this case was well, allegedly some of y'all that allegedly be in the streets all right is Quando rondo really allegedly the leader because <laughs> that's how you gotta ask these questions but you gotta allegedly what are you talking about and has but no he... reason to sell shit. drugs he's got the support of one of the greatest record labels that this country has the same record label as led zeppelin and ray charles but the state says that means nothing. He is a flight risk runner. He's very good at multitasking. While being a performing artist with all these obligations, he's been able to be an active member in the gang. quando has been involved in a lot of different situations, which is but his freedom and safety in jeopardy. The King Von shooting is one example. Aside from that, just last year, someone actually tried to take Quando Rondo out. That shooting in question happened in West Hollywood in August of last year. So what happened is several gunmen drove to a gas station in West Hollywood where Quando Rondo and his guys were, and they ended up popping off shots directly at them. One of his homies, Low Pab, ended up getting hit and uh, he died on the scene. I don't want to play you the video, but there was a video of Quando that went viral, literally, you know, screaming for his life as his friend was bleeding to death. Quando was the intended target, which is really scary to think, because one little step to the right or left and he wouldn't be here today. Unfortunately for Quando though, one of his homies ended up paying for the energy that was brought onto him. Quando is very talented, but I've always felt like he's always egging things on. Most street rappers tend to do that because there's a lot of pride that comes with being about that lifestyle. But for Quando, can he really handle it? Because he was the same guy who, after that shooting that took out his friend, decided to publicly denounce his gang affiliations, essentially saying, hey, I'm done, I'm putting the flag down. Now, I think it's good that he did that for his own sake, but what's the point of doing that if you don't completely leave that life? At the end of the day, it's gonna come back to haunt you at some point. I don't know how he's gonna- I ain't gonna lie. 
I mean, you know what? I ain't gonna talk about that. But you know what? I don't give a fuck to be honest. All right, nine times out of ten, he probably just did that shit. Maybe he thought the feds was watching him, so he tried to denounce that shit. Most people do that. Seen a couple rappers do it recently. We all know this. Allegedly, allegedly after, allegedly before. If that matters, that I said that word to you that much. But yeah, man, it's crazy out here, Quando. Um, shit. To get out of this, but if he does, personally, I think it's a miracle. When the feds arrest this many people, they usually have a uh, you know base boy in a tough and spot. something to stand on, like really concrete. For the most part, they don't go through with something like this. If you know we're talking about petty crimes that won't stick, at that point, it's a waste of resources. They're gonna have to continue the investigation. So surveillance on your phone, tap into your iCloud, all that, and then they strike once they have a substantial amount that they can work with. From there, they're gonna keep on building a case against you until they can lock you up for good. I don't know how Kondo is gonna get out of this. It's really sad to see so many of our young rappers just throwing away their careers like this. I mean, there are so many rappers who are currently behind bars who just literally threw away their lives for nothing, and they're still behind bars. I mean, we got Pooh Shiesty, we got Fetty Wap, and now potentially Quando Rondo. If you got millions on the outside, man, I think you should have all the incentive you need to stay out of trouble and not Facts. commit crime. I don't know, man. It's just looking really bad out here. Like, anyway, on, like, to your for leave, like to live for a leave. Thank you. I appreciate you. And also, make sure you're subscribed because uh, we're, we're going crazy right now, okay? We out by like. Bro, we ain't here for all that dope video, though, my boy. I'm going to subscribe. I subscribed already, you feel me? So, yeah. I'm out of here, man. Look, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know if y'all want me to react to more bro videos. If not, let me know, too. And I won't.